Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Movies Edition for the week of July the 23rd, 2018. This week is San Diego Comic-Con, is post San Diego Comic-Con, so we've got trailers and more than just trailers to talk about, so let's jump into the intro real quick. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, let's jump into this week's sponsor. Again, this week is going to be sponsored by Mercari as well as Poshmark because we are selling all of the things that we are trying to slim down. Uh, collections, mostly clothes. Uh, and I, by mostly, I mean all clothes. But <laughs> check out the links in the description for the Mercari. And you seeing this, the pictures cycling here next to my head. Mercari and Poshmark. Both are our sponsors this week. Check them out, buy some stuff. Uh, we're, we, there's definitely some nerdy stuff up there. Just sold the, nin the Ninja Turtles belt. Uh, just uh, it's been selling some, some all kinds of stuff. So check it out again over in the links down in the description. And now let's jump into the news. First up, we gotta get those trailers out of the way because we got a lot of them. We finally got a Shazam trailer, looks like this is probably going to be one of the better on the DC side of things. I don't know if it's going to be good, but it's going to be better than Suicide Squad, and that's the bar they've set so far. Well, I guess Wonder Woman. So it's not going to be Wonder Woman level good, but it's definitely going to be better than Suicide Squad. So we've got that going. We know a couple of things about Shazam. We know that Johns is going with the new 52 version of Shazam, so all of Billy Batson's friends are also going to be imbued with powers. Uh, and then something about Black Adam, they're being super shady, but there is a reference to him in the synopsis, so maybe we get to see The Rock as Black Adam. I don't know. But, I mean, we'll find out shortly. It's gonna come out next year, right? So, <clears throat> next trailer, and again, just like always, all of these trailers you can find linked in the description. Next trailer we're talking about is Aquaman. <coughs> Yeah. This isn't going to be one of the good ones. And the next trailer we're talking about is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. We talked about this movie just a couple of weeks ago. I think it was like almost a month ago now. And that how this is likely going to be the build-up to the, uh, p the potential Pacific Rim crossover movie. Uh, we know we're going to get a Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. Uh, that's going to be the next in line for the Universal Monsters universe. Uh, and I did not know, and maybe I'm just forgetting because it's very likely we've talked about it on the show, but I didn't realize that Millie Bobby Brown had been cast in this show. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like that would have been something to figure out, right? I, it's not a, it's not going to pull away from it. I feel like it... I don't know. They, they usually put big names in stuff like this, right? Just because it's easy for them because the focus is on the big monsters. And the big monsters look amazing. Ghidorah we saw for just a second. We get a really awesome reveal for Mothra. Um, Rodan is, is the one that they focus on the most aside from Godzilla in this. Oh man. Oh man. is <laughs> so awesome. So epic. I, I The storyline though looks a little too contrived looks a little too forced um so keep our expectations low this is going to be visual eye candy this is going to be one of the coolest things to watch in forever however as far as if you're going into this looking for story then you're probably going to the wrong movie it's going to be popcorn fodder and 
pure and simple. That's it. There's if it's it's going to probably be a little aggravating on the story side. So just keep that in your expectations, and you'll probably have a good time because it looks like it's going to be incredible amounts of fun. But that's all we got for that one. Next up is Glass. Glass, for those of you that don't know, is the third in an M Night Shyamalan trilogy, superhero trilogy from the guy who gave us. Uh, uh, the fifth, uh, what, the fifth, sixth, sixth sense. I almost said fifth element. Woo! <laughs> it's it's a superhero trilogy from the guy who gave us sixth sense, and it this. I mean, up until recently, I feel like Unbreakable was one of the better Shyamalan movies. The one one of them that that actually kind of holds up against holds up through time. It still watches pretty well. Uh. And then Glass, or not Glass, Glass is the new one, but, uh, what was it? The one with James McAvoy, where he has the Split, there you go, Split Personalities. Split, uh, which came out two years ago, I believe. Um, that was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Because, like, the, the Switch, the, 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 the Shyamalan twist wasn't so bizarre that you couldn't see it coming it made sense but it still had the Shyamalan flavor on it so there you go there's all the things and now we're getting the movie that brings those two movies together so we've got Bruce Willis we've got James McAvoy we've got uh, 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 Samuel L. Jackson we've got this epic cast and I I've never been more excited for an M. Night Shyamalan movie uh, it, it, save for whatever it was that came out right after Sixth Sense because everyone was super excited and then it got was really bad. But this one looks like it's going to be good. So crossing our fingers that Shyamalan doesn't drop the ball on the third movie. And yeah, then we have one last trailer that we need to talk about and then we've got regular news to discuss. Uh, the, ne the last trailer is Deadpool 2, the super duper cut. Again, links for all of these are down in the description, so go check them out. Super duper cut. Uh, the only reason we're talking about this, obviously it's Deadpool and we like Deadpool over here on Generally Nerdy, but the super duper cut is going to have Omega Red in it, which is easily one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite, Weapon X villain. Because you can't really just call him a Wolverine villain anymore. He's kind of found new life over with Deadpool. Which is awesome. And now he's also going to be on the Weapon X Force with Sabretooth. So he's got that going for him. So I we get to see a live action version of him. There's I saw a screenshot of it. I'll try and find it and put it on the screen as well. But uh, it, he looks interesting. The guy that they have playing him is more ginger than blonde. So that's a little bit of a departure. And he has like a six head. It's not even a five head. It's huge. But Omega Red does wear the bandana, so, like, maybe he's got a crazy hairline that we can't see under that bandana. Uh, I don't know. But aside from that, aside from those two relatively minor things, it looks great. It looks fantastic. And apparently Deadpool's going to be playing chess with him, and he's one of the guys that gets let out. When, yeah. So, yeah. Super Duper Cut's definitely going to be worth spending more money to see. So check it out once it gets released. I couldn't find a release date, though I, if I can, I'll put it in the description or, you know, plaster it up on the screen somewhere right about there. And that's all of the trailers we got. Next, we're talking about actual news. And the first bit of actual news is James Gunn got fired. It, for anyone who doesn't know, James Gunn did the Guardians of the Galaxy movies and was set to be, and just finished, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, just finished writing the script for Guardians 3. And then uh, uh, Mike Cernovich, who is not, not really alt-right, but definitely super conservative millennial type um found some old tweets where he's making pedophile jokes and so disney fired him because of tweets he made nearly a decade ago that he had already made public that this is the thing that really gets me because like yeah i can understand certain of it the the genesis of cernovich's thought which is hey people should know these things but if cernovich had done any more research than just oh my god a liberal is, is advocating for pedophiles 
Um, and which he really isn't. He was just making really horrible jokes. Uh, if Cernovich had done a little bit more research, he would have saw that James Gunn had already apologized for these. James Gunn had already said, hey, this is in my past. See this? This is not who I am anymore. I think this is gross. I'm not going to delete it just because it, I'm not censoring anything, but this is not who I am. So let's get rid of that and, and move that aside and, and not forget that it happened, but, but this is not part of my makeup as a person anymore. I apologize for being this person 10 years ago. This process had gone through before he did the first Guardians movie. And now he's getting fired because of things we already knew he did that haven't been put in private and like, oh, so stupid. Such a horrible precedent to make because the person you are today is exactly the same person you were 10 years ago, right? Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, I didn't think so. So that's stupid. Next on our list, we have a little tidbit about the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie. Uh, apparently, whatever they're doing with this Elseworlds story of theirs is going to have something to do with Joaquin, with the Joker's mother. Uh, Francis McDormand just turned down the part. Apparently, this is uh, according to the 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 Wire, I think. Um, it's totally rumor, so we can't really base much on this, but recently a lot of stuff has been getting out in this way that has been mostly right. So I, yeah, that's an interesting thing to do. And there's a lot more Joker stuff going on in comic books. So come back Friday for, or Saturday. Yeah, Saturday for that. Or Friday, if you're a patron, you'll get it a day early. But yeah, that's, I feel like a lot of interesting stuff right there in just that one statement. Joker's mother. That means they're really giving us a hardcore origin in this Elseworlds. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. How do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, so that's, again, a real quick little thing about Joker. Next, we have Zombieland 2 news. We've been waiting for this. Uh, it is going to be coming out sometime about mid-October of next, or no, 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 very specifically October 11th of next year. Uh, coming, this is, this is a, a, a story that coming soon broke. This could very well still be rumor. I was unable to substantiate it from anywhere else. So take with it a grain of salt until we can get more uh, people giving us the same information. But until then, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about October 11th, Zombieland 2. And from what we know, the entire cast is back for the movie. So why not be excited? This is awesome. Oh, <sighs> okay. Bringing it down a level. Just to bring it right back up, because next is Metal Gear the movie. This is happening. This, this is happening. Jordan Vogt, Voigt, Roberts, whatever, however you say his name, has a script. He wrote it along with uh, his co-writer, Derek Connolly. They wrote it together, and they've been consulting with Hideo Kojima about their movie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Metal Gear Solid, the movie, is going to happen, and the director knows well enough to pay enough tribute at least to... to respect the source material enough that he's actually consulting with Hideo. That's amazing. Went even went so far as to visit Hideo in his studios where they are currently working on Death Stranding. Oh, that was a great note to go out on. I gotta change my underwear and this is the end of the video guys. Thank you very much for watching. What did I miss in movie news? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If though you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can do that. You can also get your nerdy swag because there's links to the stores, links to the social medias. Everything is up on generallynerdy.net. 
or you can jump over to the Patreon if you want to support the channel a little more directly, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. Four tiers, lowest tier is a dollar. I Really, you get twice as much content for just a dollar. So go check that out. I'm actually working on uh, more writings. So if you join the higher tiers, you will be getting a lot more content as well. So check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. New to the channel, click the subscribe button. You like the episode, click the like button. If you're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, do all the things and the stuff, guys. Always, always remember that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here.